PMQs has been cancelled this week, and Boris Johnson won't come face to face with his rival Sir Keir Starmer until next week. But why is Prime Minister's questions not happening today? On Tuesday the government confirmed that Prime Minister Boris Johnson had been fined by the Metropolitan Police for breaching lockdown rules. Normally, the PM would then have to face questions from MPs and the Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer in a session of Prime Minister's questions PMQs. But this week there will be no PMQs. Why has PMQs been cancelled today? There will be no session of PMQs this week as MPs are still away on their Easter recess, which began on March 31st. A recess is a phrase that's used to describe the period when the House of Commons is not sitting. While the Commons is still adjourned, no sessions will be held in the chamber, including PMQs. The next session of PMQs is due to take place next week, Wednesday, April 20. Easter recess will end a day beforehand on Tuesday, April 19. For the remainder of 2022 there are three more recess periods to come, two of which have confirmed dates. They are, meanwhile, a provisional date for the Commons to rise for its summer 2022 recess has been announced, July 21, but is not yet confirmed. Traditionally, the government did not give MPs the exact dates of the recess more than a few months in advance. Knowing how long a parliament will sit for can aid opposition parties in their bids to thwart the progress of government legislation. But as parliament modernizes with the wider world, recess dates are now usually announced ahead of time, though they are subject to the progress of parliamentary business. On Tuesday, calls were being led by the Scottish National Party and the Liberal Democrats for parliament to return early from its recess. The PM, along with his wife. Carrie Johnson, and Chancellor Rishi Sunak were all fined for attending a birthday gathering for Mr Johnson in Downing Street. As a result, Mr Johnson has become the UK's first serving Prime Minister to be sanctioned for breaking the law. Apologies have been tabled by all three individuals, while Mr Johnson and Mr Sunak have both refused to step down from their positions.